today we're going to have a quick video on rounding off decimals. In South Africa, the custom is to write down a decimal point as a comma. So here we would have 1,234 and 28. Um, or let's give this a few more decimal places so that we can go over the process of rounding up and down. So you might see a number like this written in this way with a period or a point to denote the decimal. And this is customary in places like North America and other parts of the world. But in South Africa, this is the format that you should be using. Um, the decimal point is denoted by a comma. So let's say we had to round this number off to the third decimal place. How would we do something like that? So when you are given a specific decimal place that you need to round off to, the way that you do that is you're going to go from your decimal point, which is here. Let's say we were told we need to round off from the third decimal place. We would count three places from our decimal point. So this would be one, two, three. So when, when something tells us that we want to round off to three decimal places, it's basically saying we want to end up with a result that has three decimal points. Um, so whatever is left after that third point, we don't really want it. So the rule is going to be that if you have a number that is five or higher, you are going to round up. And if it's four or lower, you're going to round down. So let's look at this example here and use this logic there. So this number to the right of our last decimal point is a two. Two is in the four or lower category, so that means we're going to round down. When we're rounding down, what that essentially means is we're just going to emit whatever is to the right of our decimal point and leave it as is. So this number would be written as 1,234.285. Now let's say that instead of this number we had a number like 1,234.2 and we wanted to round off to three decimal places. That's one, two, three places. The number after the third decimal place is a five, and because it's a five or higher, we're going to round up. And what that means is that this would be written as 1,234.285. I'm going to rounding up our last decimal place one more unit. So that's going to become a 6 from a 5. Okay, so now let's look at what would happen if we had a number like 1. this. And let's say we want to round this off to two decimal places. That means that we want one, two numbers after the decimal point, and we look at the number to the right of our last decimal point, and that is six, which is under the category of five and higher, which means we're going to be rounding up. And since we have a nine here, rounding up to the next number, this would become a 10, which means that we would put a zero in this place and round the next number up by one. So the 8 would become a 9, and the 9 would become a 0. And then we can write down the rest of our number. So that is how we would round to two decimal places for that number. We can give one more example. Let's say we have 23.55, and let's say we wanted to round off to the nearest whole number. Now, if you're rounding off to the nearest whole number, that means we don't want any decimal places. All we want is this root number here. So because this 
the next number to the right of how many decimal places we want, and in this case we want zero decimal places, because this is a 5, this will be rounded up to 24. So essentially all you need to know when you're trying to round off is to first count your decimal places uh, so if you need uh, to round off to the third decimal point, then you count three decimal places after your comma. If you need to round off to four decimal points, then you need to count four places after your comma. Look at the number after your last decimal place. So if you're rounding off to the third decimal point, then you look at your fourth number. If you're rounding off to the fourth decimal point, you look at the fifth number. And if that number is five or higher, you're going to round up which means that the number immediately to the left of it is going to be one higher. If that number is four or lower, then you're going to round down. And by rounding down, you're not going to change any numbers to the left. You're just going to drop all of the decimals that come after your last decimal place.